it's now the next morning and I think it's safe to say that I have lots of happy dough. You can't really see under the shower caps at the moment but all of the bowls are packed full of great lovely dough. All of the starters have done well. This also shows you what I tend to do with my shower cap is I sit it round the edge of the top of the bowl in case it needs, uh, in case the dough needs more space to grow. Look at this, this is my bowl with my star. You can see the bubbles underneath. So now it's time to get it into some banetons and you'll be able to see the dough a bit more. I'm going to take the shower caps off. It's now time to get this lovely set of beautiful dough into the banetons. So, just going to pull whatever dough has stuck to the shower cap off. I'll do some more of that in a minute so you don't have to listen to it. I've got my same glove that I had from last night. So this is the dough that's in, been made by Alara, my einkorn starter, with the einkorn grains in it. And as you can see, she looks very happy. So at this point, my only aim is to just pull the dough together to be able to place it into the banneton. No fancy shaping, I don't turn the dough out. This is it, this is my pre-shape or my shape, whatever you want to call it. For me, it's just taking that beautiful dough from its overnight proof in the bowl to place it into the banneton. So I want it to be into enough of a ball that I can just put my hand on it turn it out and place it into the banneton. So here we go. Mm, look at that. I've already got my banneton. Rice flour already in there. Just going to place that in. And then all I do is just add some extra rice flour around the sides so that as she grows or spreads into the banneton it's not going to stick there's nothing worse after all that effort than your dough sticking to the banneton so let's do another one so you can see again so this is the dough that my Galaxia has created so this was made with my new wholemeal starter That very very different consistency what I love when you do this is as you're folding it across you can see the life and the bubbles but also you can feel the resistance it does not want to be crushed it wants to be handled gently just once round the bowl to be able to turn it out and into your banneton. <laughs> Lovely. So, last one here, I want to show you my star. This is my, my bowl full of lovely dough made with my star. Look at that. If you get a bowl like this, it could be overflowing. Don't assume it's overproved. To me, this is perfect. This is not overproved. If you touch the dough and it just turns to liquid, then it's overproved. Whereas this, she looks lovely. She's still got all that structure. What you might have noticed as well with this and the einkorn loaf is that sourdough loves grains. It loves whole grains being added. So just gently pull it together and into the banneton. 
you'll also see that this it's literally 30 seconds so when you get up in the morning less than a minute's work to be able to just put your dough into the banneton into the fridge and then you can get on with your day so into my ham That. Look at all that texture, and then into the Benetton. Beautiful. Extra bit of rice flour down the sides. These shakers are really useful because rice flour gets everywhere. There we go. Job done. Here they are, in the bannetons, shower caps on, going to go in the fridge. If you've ever wondered about what's a worthwhile investment for making sourdough at home, a banneton I highly recommend. They're not expensive and you will use it over and over again. A couple of these bannetons I've literally had for about four years and I use them week after week. So once you've prepped them and you look after them, they will look after you. So that is one of the things that I do recommend for making your own sourdough. So into the fridge, there you go. This dough has now been in the fridge in the banneton for about six hours. Your dough in the banneton, it does not have to grow in the fridge. It needs to grow when it bakes. So if it doesn't grow in the banneton, don't worry about it as long as it grows as it bakes. So mine has grown because my starters are nice and strong. Um, so now I want to just turn the dough out into my pan. So parchment paper. <laughs> parchment paper, pan, turn it over. Look at that. Nice dome. Of dough. So I'm going to use my very beautiful lame. Look at this. It's made from wood from a plum tree. Um, give it a score. Lovely firm dough. Look at that. Beautiful clean scoring. I'm going to put the lid on into a cold oven. Bake it. 55 minutes look at that you can see the texture in the dough so this is the dough that was made with my Galaxia my new starter so I'm going to put the lid on and we'll see what she does just to show you again another dough I'm going to go parchment paper over the top pan and turn. So this is the dough that was made with Cotswold's flour, white spout flour and some Mrs. Middleton's flour with the addition of the toasted spent malted grains from beer making. Lovely and firm. Look at that. Again Let's go into a cold oven. So we've got cold dough, cold pan, cold oven. Let's see what she does. Here we go. First out of the oven is my loaf made using Galaxia, my new wholemeal starter made from scratch. And this is a loaf made with the potato water, 50% uh, wholemeal, 50% white. And uh, I don't know about you, but I think it looks pretty good. Smells amazing. So, here we go. First one out of the oven. Let's get it on a rack to cool and see what's going to come next. Up next is another loaf made with a wholemeal starter. And this one has been made with 50% uh, Cotswolds flour, white spelt flour, and 50% Mrs. Middleton's plain natural flour and with the added spent grains so let's have a look haha <laughs> look at that 
beauty. Look at that. Lovely and rustic. Very nice. So this is a cold bake. This has been baked from cold. So don't ever think that baking from cold, you don't get this spring, because you do. Look at that, it looks amazing. Ooh, having fun in my kitchen. This dough has been in the fridge, therefore, for longer than the previous ones, whilst they were baking. So this is the dough made with Alara, my einkorn starter. Uh, it's also got the einkorn grains in there. The beauty of these enamel pans is it's only been out the oven for five minutes and already it's cool enough for me to handle. So over it goes. Let's score her and get her in the oven. Because my ovens have now been on, I'm going to... I was going to move that over a bit, but I don't need to. Because my ovens have been on, this will therefore now go into a hot oven, whereas the others were going into a cold oven. So you should see that it makes very little, very little difference to the bake. The difference it makes is to uh, whether or not you waste power and have the oven sitting on preheating for no reason. So let's see what this one does. Good luck, Elara. And this dough, my final dough, was made with my lovely star. It's got white flour, potato water, and the spent grains from making beer. So again, two minutes after using this pan, I can already handle it. So, parchment paper, pan, and over we go, and another Lovely firm dough. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Look at the joy in that. It's just lovely. So with these doughs today, I'm making straight loaves. On another day, I might use some of the dough to make some rolls. Okay. Here we go. So also into a preheated oven. Let's see. Fresh from the know. oven. This loaf has been made with Alara, my new einkorn starter. So she's got the einkorn starter, white flour and cooked einkorn grains in the dough. And here we go. Look at that. I would suggest that my little Alara is a very happy thing. Look at that. Brilliant. I mean, when you look at the einkorn starter, it looks so innocuous, but it works. So there's my third loaf of the day. And here's my final loaf of the day. You might be able to hear the other loaves singing in the background. So this one was made with my star, with potato water, white flour and some of the toasted spent grains from making beer. So let's see. There we are. Look at that. Another happy loaf. I think we can safely say it's to say uh, successful mornings baking. And they've all worked beautifully. Very much happy baking so i hope it's the same in your kitchen and thank you for watching so i think we can safely say it's been a happy day's baking in my kitchen galaxia did well the spent grains look fab my little alara has done a great job and of course my star, always my shining star. So I can tell you, my kitchen right now, it smells pretty amazing. So happy baking. <laughs>